do special. Does he have pursuit? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, some UI tweaks, um, just like general quality of life stuff. <clears throat> um, all non-endless solar map and quest missions now display short objective instructions for each stage with a matching marker icon in the UI. Similar nice to draw up. Planes. Got a wind shredder shell from that one. Nice. Did you hear that though, Burley? I did. That's pretty awesome. Should cut down on the amount of um, people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. Probably not. Uh, made performance and memory optimizations to planes of Eidolon and other tile sets. If you're experiencing crashes before, we hope that these changes will be the fix. Um, audio remaster for Corpus Gas City and Grenier Settlements. And we get new Time weapon. between. Let's go for... Time between... Yeah, chain sickle. Chain sickle could be fun. I'm really wanting to see a bow, though. I'll do a bow more towards the end because okay. I, I I don't want to be on a mission where I can't select my party members. Okay. Ah, we can. Uh, Work on constructing the pool of purity now by collecting monster drops. Well, there you go. Um, time, time between incursions will increase if you let an incursion alert expire. So it'll stop annoying me every second there is when I'm just trying to fish? Yeah. Sweet. Let's go over Um, smoothed out NPC movement so it's less jerky. Um, improved AI pathing in, in the Grenier Asteroid tile set. What else we got up here? Improve, improved the responsiveness of loadouts and relays in Cetus. Thank the gods. What's the name of here? So, basically, what the sickle does is you can channel your stamina into extra damage for its special. But the consequence of that is you run out much quicker. Uh, the quick attack is the weight, the heavy attack is the sickle, and it's uh, somewhat acrobatic. And a little bit aerial, but not very much. Those are pretty much most of the changes, though. They have a lot of fixes. Naturally. Um, fixing some holes in some tile sets. Um, some texture issues... As always. Some issues with loading in and out of Cetus. Yeah, that's actually... They, they actually extended the console Plague Star event by um, seven more days because of people having crashes loading in and out of Cetus. Some better um, lighting on the way your 10O looks. So around the eyes and around the face. I think that the oper I, I assume you mean the operators when you're talking yeah. about eyes and face. I think all yeah. the operators look fat. Like, they're chubby. Yeah, and I you, could agree with that. And you can't do it. You can't, like, choose a body type. They're just all chubby. It's like, I know they've been sitting down for, like, a long time, but they also haven't been really eating that much.
What else do we have here? Um, looks like Volt's gonna get a buff. Yeah, I I formed Volt today. He could definitely use a buff. Um, added a sale manifest window when selling your mods or credits or dissolving them for info or for endo. This window will provide information on the sale. It's for you to review before you confirm or cancel. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, if it makes that operation easier overall, it's such a pain um, in the dynamic, dick. Dynamic weather in the Plains of Eidolon. Didn't they already have that? Um, the Plains of Eidolon now have changing weather, weather patterns. This new dynamic weather system brings rain, lightning, rolling thunder, as well as fluctuating wind and cloud patterns. The Plains can shift from sunshine to rain during the day and night, where rain will linger for a reasonable amount of time. Jumping in puddles isn't the only good thing about being out in the plains during the rain. Take advantage of increased fish spawns and reduced visibility for the Grenier while it is raining. Oh, thank God for that, because the Grenier are the biggest pain in the dick when you're just trying to fish. They'll aggro you from the other side of the solar system. But that should help a lot. Oh, I didn't mention this before, but if you hold the attack button, you can zoom in with the weight and pull yourself to the enemy. That's how I you think get that's pretty... aerial options. What else do they do? Else do, they do? Um... Remove the passive 5 energy per second drain from Volt's electric shield when moving with it. So that's down to 1 second. Yeah, it made it almost um, unusable. Increase the base DPS of Discharge from 450 at max rank to 750 at max rank. And Discharge is now castable in the air. Yeah, I was having a lot of trouble. I was leveling in a CAD. I was trying to, like, jump and cast it. No, no, sir. That's not how it works. Um, drop Sentient Cores now have a minimap icon and an in-world marker to display their position. What else do we have here? Uh, missing cinematics. Um, yeah, on this particular fix. Because you guys are just like three builds behind us right now. Yeah, but it's not that's it's not how it works. Like when we get an update, it's a combination of different aspects of your updates. So some things you don't get for a while, but other things we get basically right away. Well, yeah, but you guys are going to get the fixes basically right away. Yeah, that's the best part about playing on consoles. We get the fixed version of everything. Um, aside from that, there's not too terribly much else. Um, a single Vombalus and its energy form, your multiple lures will now only feed a charge to a single lure. However, to improve overall survivability of the lures, we have changed Eidolon lures to always spawn at level 30 regardless of bounty level or distance from gate. Um, Hunter Command mod change. Your companion will not focus on an enemy for a set duration when they are first slash procced by you while focusing on a target. They will ignore any, any other newly procced enemies and will go back to the default behavior after the duration expires. I haven't really had a chance and, to play uh, with that too much. The beams from Trinity's Link now fade out when the ability is ended. That's kind of cool. Indeed. Reduce the number of stasis mines in the Arcwing Rush missions. I don't even do that mission type. Like I don't understand it at all. A skiff VIP has been added to the list of commanders in Dynamic Assassinate Incursions. So great, a flying VIP. Um, Grenier melee enemies are on the planes. You're not able to climb to the top of the storage containers. Um, some updates on some of Lotus's te uh, conversations. All right, so I used my sickle special there because I'm going to save the team special for the horns.
The rescue target in the planes now has a HUD health indicator located under your minimap. I don't know why it doesn't, <laughs> actually, when I think about it. <laughs> right? Kind of a very important thing to know. Like, it is, but at the same time, the drone and the rescue target never take any damage. Because as long as they're moving, the enemies will always miss them. Um, reticle will now turn blue when targeting allies and red when targeting enemies. Um, reticle will show different states for hip, aim, and sprint. Context actions will dim when aiming while they're active. They're talking about massively increasing discharges radius per volt. I, I didn't have any problem with its radius, just its damage. Like, on, oh, okay. norm on normal maps, it already covers the whole thing. Okay, here's the thing with Luminous Die and Ferma. I found it. Um, in order for Luminous Die and Ferma to work within the system, they are now thrown like bait. They float in the water and affect all fish in the same body of water within a certain radius. This way, you can cast out the die in one place, and all players will see the fish get highlighted as they swim near it. Multiple dies can be used at once if you want to affect a larger section of the water. So is that a little better than what you thought, or is that exactly what you thought? That's much better than what it sounded like initially. And we got the horns um, on this one. Active bait will no longer be destroyed by fish. Fixes toward fish swimming through terrain. <laughs> yeah, so if you use a die and you spook a fish, you'll see it actually swim under the ground on the shore. Like, it'll swim Fixed through rocks. Fixed an issue where some fish could swim in the air. Oh, speaking of that, you know those aquatic grenier units that you run into on Uranus? Yeah. I was doing a sabotage today, and I saw one of them swimming through the lab, but the part that was above water. <laughs> it had bubbles That's around hilarious. it and everything, and when I killed it, it floated away. But it was above That's water. That's amazing. That's amazing. Like, that's what I need to be streaming. Ah, another new Warframe's coming up. Well, yeah, it's about time. Uh, Korra. Um, able to wield an exalted whip, summonable custom cavat, ability to switch damage output output between impact, puncture, and slash. But that's about all we know. And of course, it's a female warframe. Well, yeah, because they do male, male, female, female, right? Yeah. And then for primes, um, they do male, female alternating, don't they? Yeah. So. Then the next prime after Mirage next week would be Limbo? I believe so, yes. That's going to be dapper. Um, also, this update, the update with the new Warframe and some other stuff will drop at the end of the year. End of the year is right around the corner. So. That'll be fun. Yeah, like, I, I like Warframe because it's so dynamic. It's just hard for me to record it because I'm so deep into it. There's not a lot for me to do. Oh, you shouldn't be so deep then. You might hurt somebody. It, it's fine. It was with permission. It was with permission. Fucking masochist. Okay, what, uh, we just broke the game, apparently. Break all the things. Damn. Damn. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> the camera decided to pan through the floor this time. It's like, what's his face in the fucking Mario games is controlling your camera? Lakitu? 
Yeah, Lakitu. Lakitu, are you drunk? <laughs> Where the fuck are you aiming that thing? He he had too many special mushrooms. <laughs> Damn it, Mario! You shouldn't be offering Lakitu those. That's why they call it Super Mario. Oh God. There we get we're getting me Tom's left, right, and center. <sighs> Unstoppable glory. I mean you get instant cutscene this time, so you can actually 